Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, ClickView Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and today I will share my learning about another ClickView object, line or arrow object. So let's create a line and see um, how it can be useful in our dashboard. So for that, we can either right click here, go to new sheet object, and click on the line slash arrow object, or in a different way, you know, we can go to this design toolbar, click on this line or arrow object. So this is just to give you an option. So we'll click here and uh, we will see its general properties uh, that we can set. So orientation, whether we want an horizontal line, vertical line, a diagonal climbing line or a diagonal falling line, what kind of a line style we want whether we want a normal straight line, whether we want a line with some breaks, a dotted line, or line with you know some other formats, or some other style. We can give a weight to this line, so whether we want a normal line with zero point, or we want to create a one point, two point, three point, what kind of a weight that we want to give to this line. So this is simply about, uh, this will change the width of the line and uh, arrow style uh, we want to give this arrow a backward arrow this was a forward one this has uh, you know these arrow kind of an image on both the sides so we'll go with a simple one we will set its color to black which is by default and the background color to a default one so let's click on OK and uh, you see this, a short line is created for us and how I dragged it, I just uh, left click from the mouse and drag it over to a desired place, wherever we want. All right, so let's see uh, how it can be useful in our dashboards. So in dashboards, uh, you know, we show different charts like uh, we have shown here KPI dashboard uh, where we have indicators and all. Here we have a, a bar chart uh, where we are showing the information by months. So for example, we want to have a divider between these two charts. Then in that case, these lines can be very useful. So we can drag this line over to or between these uh, two charts and uh, drag it down till the end to create a proper separator. So as soon as we go to the bottom of this uh, line, you see this two arrow kind of an icon is coming, a vertical one, and uh, I just uh, left click from my mouse, I'm dragging down till the end, and now I'm releasing my mouse. All right. Um, so you see a proper separator is created, but another issue is uh, this uh, line is covering some part of this chart and this revenue versus budget chart. So what we can do is uh, we can right click on this chart or sorry, this object, line object, go to properties, the line arrow properties. And from the background, we can set transparency to 100% so now it is 100% transparent and no color is appearing okay so you see this uh, the color the background color has gone and uh, everything is coming just fine uh, another option that I explored uh, so I just stumbled upon that uh, that option and figured it out that that can be one of the possibility. So what I just did, I just made uh, it to the original position where there is a there is no transparency and there is a proper background color. Okay, which was a default situation. So if I click apply, you see that uh, it is a default position. So apart from that, uh, setting the transparency of 100% from the background color, you can go to image and you just don't select any image and click on apply. Right, so you see this. Uh, again, you know, the background has gone and uh, 
everything is coming just fine so that's how you can uh, you know resolve such issues if they are appearing in the chart and with the line object so and let's see some some of the properties where you can change its look and feel and the type of action that this line can perform so the very next tab we have is the actions tab uh, this is similar to my last video in which uh, I have explained the different kind of actions you can perform on the button object. The same kind of uh, actions you can perform from this line object like uh, if you click on the line you want to open a website or if you click on a line you want to open some application like notepad or you want to open a click view document you can open from here. So that kind of uh, things I have explained in my earlier video, click view button object. I will encourage you that uh, you visit that video and uh, explore not only actions but also about the button properties that will give you a uh, good knowledge about the click view button object and the actions. So I will move on with the layout. So layout properties is all about uh, uh, how this is appearing over here so currently no shadow you can uh, set its uh, shadow intensity uh, you can set its border width so currently not applicable in such case in this case so I'm not changing but uh, if you have the requirement you can definitely uh, explore each of this option and uh, make it uh, according to your requirements so I do not want any border width so zero and uh, show uh, show is like uh, you want to always show this line or uh, there is some condition based on which you want to show this line then you can click on here conditional and set the condition again about this conditions uh, conditional display of the object I have talked in my earlier video and I think that was the text object video click view text object so please uh, go through that video and figure out how we can do a conditional show and that is very simple I think uh, once you will visit uh, that video uh, at the very first time you will able to get the idea about uh, the conditional showing it's just a matter of the fact that you need to specify some valid condition and the property will work for you the next option is uh, allow move and size or allow copy or clone so if you want the end user or another developer to move or resize this then they can do that and uh, if you want them also to copy or clone this to use at some other location or in some other sheet in the dashboard then you need to enable this option so let's explore one of the option like uh, I don't want them to move or size or resize I click apply okay now I'm just hovering my mouse over to this line object and I left click from my mouse I'm trying to drag it over to another place but you see that it is not allowing me even if I try to resize by going at the bottom of the border you know that uh, vertical arrow kind of an icon is not coming uh, in this object even if I'm going at the top of the line so this is because we have disabled this property allow move or size so I have enabled this for now which is a default option so scroll bars uh, they are not relevant so no matter no point in discussing those things but uh, uh, you will get an idea about because this is this property is related to scroll bar so what kind of scroll bar uh, button color would be and uh, what kind of a background scroll bar should have and their width so you can set this property but not relevant in this case so let's move on to the last tab which is caption and it is about the caption but uh, as you see the caption is not relevant but let's quickly go through what we can do so show caption is something like uh, where we can show the caption on the line like uh, if I say line object click on apply this uh, text will appear the line object so irrelevant in this case but uh, you have the property so in any of the dashboard if you 
have such requirement where you want to show the caption you can enable this and show the text so I will disable for now because not relevant in this case but uh, let's quickly discuss its properties like uh, uh, what should be the background color and text color when the line is inactive and uh, what should be the active caption when the live inactive when you are clicking on the line what should be the background color and text color so that will change the colors accordingly uh, if you have a big sentence in the caption and uh, you know it's coming in you think it is coming in different lines or it should come in different lines then you can wrap the text and set, set line number of lines uh, caption alignment uh, you want it horizontally aligned center aligned or left aligned right aligned whatever it may be you can choose the option similar is the case with vertical they are like uh, any other object the properties are like any other object that you have in the click view and uh, allow minimize allow maximize if you want uh, this line to minimize or maximize but I think not relevant in this case or for this particular object again X position and Y position the the position of the line that is currently appearing in the uh, dashboard so this is the position if you want to change or change by bit by bit then you can do that from here uh, and uh, width and height if you want to change the width and height uh, in, in such scenario where you know you are not uh, very much comfortable with the uh, mouse for you know uh, changing the width and the height then you can do it from here also and click on apply ok and see the effect help text uh, if you want to show some kind of a help for this line but uh, I think irrelevant for this object so not entering this thing but you can very well click on this uh, enter some text and click on uh, apply to show how it will work so I will leave this thing with you and uh, uh, if you find any such scenario in your future dashboards where you need all these properties then you can very well do that and uh, utilize it so that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and uh, I'll meet you in the next video with a new object. Till then, bye-bye.